Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Give Local NRV webinar one, all about getting started. Um, we are going to get started with the webinar in just a few minutes. Um, but if everyone could check out the chat module on the um, GoToWebinar um, little icon that you have on your screen and let me know that you can hear me, that would be awesome. Um, Maybe if you want to let me know your pet's name or something that you love about the New River Valley region, uh, that would be great. Thanks everyone who chimed in. We're just gonna wait one more minute as people are still joining. Um, so we'll get started here shortly. Okay, welcome to the Give Local NRV training webinar. My name is Dawn and I'm going to be leading you all through today's presentation. Um, before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items that I want to note. Um, this webinar is going to be recorded. It'll be posted in the toolkit on the Give Local NRV site um, under the resources tab. And then um, you can use the GoToWebinar chat module to send across any questions. Um, that you have during the presentation and we'll get through those um, You know as many as we can after the webinar uh, in the Q&A session and if we don't get to any um, Or we have too many to get to during the Q&A then I'll make sure that I respond to each one of you um, after the webinar is over um, I do have Claire Gilbert on the webinar with me from the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Um, Claire is the marketing coordinator over there, and her and her team are working really hard uh, on all the things Give Local NRV. So I just want to introduce her really quick and uh, let her say a few words to welcome everyone. Hi, Claire. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited to have you all this morning. We're really excited about the transition to the Mighty Cause platform and getting to share more about the platform this morning and how to get started with it. This is the first of multiple trainings that we're going to be doing over the course of Give Local NRV, and it's one of two that we're going to be doing in partnership with Mighty Cause. So I'm sure Don is going to be talking more about that. And as we previewed at the launch meeting, we're looking forward to offering many reasons to use the platform year round. So we're really happy to have so many of you joining us in advance of Giving Tuesday, which is on December 3rd. 
And that's another great opportunity to leverage this existing National Giving Day for your nonprofit. So great to have everybody getting started now. I'm going to hand things over to Dawn because I know she has a lot that she wants to cover now. But uh, the Community Foundation staff are here and listening as well. And we'll be working with Dawn to answer any questions that may come up that are specific to the foundation. So thank you so much, Dawn. And I will give it back to you. Yep. Thanks, Claire. Uh, okay. So let me go to the agenda. Okay. Uh, so here's a look at today's agenda. Um, we're going to go over some of the basics for the Giving Day. Uh, we're going to, um, you know, walk through the length and uh, some of the more specifics involved. And then we're going to jump into getting started by registering and navigating your nonprofit page on the platform. Um, and then after that, we're going to uh, touch base really quickly on how you can utilize your, your uh, Give Local NRB site for Giving Tuesday. And then we'll jump into the Q&A session um, if we have time. So again, if you have a question while I'm presenting, feel free to type it into the um, chat module for your GoToWebinar panel, and we'll get to it at the end. Um, and then if I do see a running theme with questions, then uh, I'll be happy to add that specific item to the FAQ on the Give Local NRB site. That way, everyone has access to it. Okay, so Give Local NRB Basics. Uh, Give Local NRV is a 24-hour long event. Um, it's going to take place on June 24th of 2020. The Community Foundation of the New River Valley is giving you all early access to the site once you register, so you can utilize it for Giving Tuesday, um, which, like Claire mentioned, is coming up quick on, on Tuesday, December 3rd, um, less than a month away, crazy. Um, so early giving for the Giving Day on June 24th starts on June 1st. So both of these are great dates for you to mark on your calendars. That way you know when you know early giving start, when the actual giving day is, we'll obviously um, be communicating with everyone um, closer to. Uh, but you know for now, mark those dates on your calendar. Um, that way you know ahead of time. And then um, as soon as prize the prize money will be announced um, then you know you guys can all start planning for that as well so Claire will have more information about that probably next year so how does a giving day work um, a giving day is a unique campaign presented by a host in this case the Community Foundation of the New River Valley um, it allows organizations to compete with other nonprofits um, to win prize money so Giving days are an exciting way for you all to encourage um, and engage your sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and more uh, to spread the word about your organization and your mission and to raise funds for your cause. The limited time frame of a giving day creates a sense of urgency that donors tend to respond to, um, and the prizes that are typically available give you fresh messaging opportunities throughout the day. So to participate in Give Local NRV, uh, you'll want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. Um, once you've registered, you can customize your profile on Mighty Cause and start planning for your campaign. Um, you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. Um, and once early giving has started on June 1st, you can start promoting your campaign. And of course, you'll really want to push the do donation ask on the actual giving day, which is June 24th. Um, you'll obviously need to raise money to win some awesome prizes and make the most out of the opportunity. Um, now, I keep talking about early giving, but I just want to clarify that um, you can accept donations on your page as soon as you you register and sign up, um, but when I when I say early giving, I'm specifically talking about early giving that counts toward the giving day. So you can raise funds throughout the year, like Claire mentioned, um, on your the Mighty Cost profile page associated with Give Local NRV, uh, and you'll still have all the tools and access. Um, it's just funds raised from June 1st through the giving day um, are what will count towards the actual giving day. So just want to make sure I clarify that. Um, so this is the home page for Give Local NRV this year. Um, you'll see the URL here on the left. Um, I would definitely bookmark it, write it down, whatever you need to do to remember it. Um, once the giving day starts, this is where you'll see um, any leaderboards that will indicate what place you're in, um, as well as any additional prizes that are going on. So you'll want to make sure to bookmark it now so you have it when you need it. Um, and this this home page for the site has all the tools you'll need as well. Um, you'll see the register button is right there at the top. 
Um, if you haven't registered yet, this is where you can go to do so. The Giving Day homepage also has these tabs um, that you can see, home, donate, rules, etc. cetera. Um, th those include you know, all of the resources that you'll need, um, like the FAQ and the toolkit. Um, and then this is also where the information about prizes will be once they're announced. So first things first, um, I keep mentioning it. If you haven't already done so, you're gonna wanna make sure you're registered. Um, if you have any questions at all pertaining to registration, you can email support at mightycause.com. Um, to register, you'll first need to log in or sign up and claim your organization on Mighty Cause if this is your first time visiting the site. Um, and then once you've done that, it'll unlock the registration questions and you can submit the form. And then once you register, you'll receive a confirmation message and will, approval will typically happen um, within about 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and then after you claim your organization, you'll also be able to add other administrators to your account on Mighty Cause. So multiple people can access uh, your organization site and help run your campaign. So once you've filled out and submitted your registration form, you'll need to complete the items on your to-do list. Uh, this list is located on the home screen on your nonprofit profile, um, right under your metrics. Um, so the, you'll see the image there, it's clicking the home, um, and then it's right underneath there on your metrics. Um, there's five basic items to complete. You need to add a background image to your page or use one from our gallery of stock background images. Uh, you'll need to upload your logo, which will represent you throughout Give Local NRV. You'll want to add a story, um, also called a description. Uh, that you know will tell visitors to your profile about what your organization does, and you'll want to build a thank you page uh, to thank donors uh, after their transaction is complete, uh, and set up electronic fund transfers so you can get your disbursements through direct deposit. Um, if you click the links in your to-do list, uh, you'll be taken right to the spots on your organization's account where you can complete each task. Uh, so it's really easy for you guys to complete the list um, and. This isn't the list, completing the list isn't required, um, but it's a great place to help you get started on, you know, what, what should I do first? Um, completing this to-do list is a great way to get started on that. Um, and we found that like profiles that are filled out more um, tend to get more engaged supporters. Um, so before you get into the weeds planning your campaign, make sure you take the time to complete this list. Um, and if you do need help or you're unsure how to complete any of the items, then let us know. Uh, you know, you can email support at mightycause.com. We also have a support library um, where we have walkthroughs and videos that can help you out as well. Um, so we also recommend taking some time to get to know your dashboard. Uh, your dashboard, which we like to call your Mighty Cause Manager, is the admin bar that appears on the left side of your screen when you're logged in and on your nonprofit's profile. So you'll see it's the um, black section that opens up when you hover over it. There you go, right there. Um, so uh, you'll automatically land on your welcome screen or home screen, um, which again is where you'll find your to-do list. Um, and then under your profile, which is that second icon down, um, you can edit your page in the page editor. You can adjust your page settings. Um, that This is where you can set your goal for the event and enable a progress bar on your page. Um, and then you can also go to the live view to see how your page will look to visitors without logging out of your account. Um, and then below that on your dashboard is the report section icon, which is your one-stop shop for everything related to donation management. You're able to preview and export your donation report and can view and manage your disbursements. Uh, and then part of your to-do list is setting up EFT, which you can do under the reports um, in the disbursement section. Uh, and then just so everyone knows, signing up for electronic fund transfer allows you to receive your funds faster. Um, funds can also be dispersed by check, uh, but there is a $5 admin fee, fee for check disbursements. Um, so I definitely recommend um, signing up for the EFT um, if you want or are able. Um, and then if you have any questions about fund disbursements, you can email support at mightycause.com um, and you know, we'll be happy to help you. Uh, let's see, next thing on your Mighty Cause Manager is the fundraising section. Um, this is where your donor experience section lives. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a few slides as well as matching grants, which we're also gonna go into in more detail later on. 
Um, and then you can manage your nonprofit settings like URL customization and admin control from your settings page, which is that left um, second to last icon of settings, the gear. Um, so you can do all that from there uh, on your dashboard. So uh, customizing your profile. Um, your profile is the face of your nonprofit um, for Give Local NRV. So you'll want to make sure it looks good and it represents you as an organization well. Um, just so you know, your profile link is the link you'll share with supporters to ask them to donate to your page um, during Give Local NRV or Giving Tuesday. Um, so to share your page, just copy and paste the URL um, which uh, you can find on your browser where you go to type in www. Um, that's where you can find your URL. Um, so just share it, um, copy and paste that into an email or a social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. Um, so as you're going through your to-do list, you'll want to customize your profile to match your brand for your organization. Um, there's two ways to start customizing your profile. You can click profile in your Mighty Cause Manager um, and choose page editor from the sub menu. Uh, this will open up everything you're able to edit on the page. Um, and if you're a list person, you can go down this list to make sure you hit everything you want to. Uh, the other way to customize, um, as you can see from the visual here, um, is to click profile and use the little pencil icons that appear on the page to indicate a section can be edited. Um, just click the little pencil and that section will open up for editing. So editing your theme. Um, the first thing you want to do when editing your profile is upload your organization's logo. Uh, you can use that pencil icon to open up that section for editing. Um, logos need to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to fit. Uh, the logos on Mighty Calls are the same aspect ratio as many social media sites. So if you use your logo as part of your Facebook or Twitter profiles, you can use the same logo here as well. Um, you'll want to make sure your logo doesn't clash with your background image. Uh, and then speaking of background image, that's what you'll want to upload next. Um, you can see the background image on the example page here is of two people sitting on a couch. Um, your background image will look best if it's mostly text-free and a strong image that's representative of your nonprofit. Landscape-oriented images will work best. Um, and then if you're not sure uh, what picture you want to use or you don't really have any good pictures, we also offer a generic gallery of images to choose from um, if you want to use those instead. Uh, and then from here on the edit theme, um, you can also change your theme color to match your organization's branding. The theme color allows you to pick a consistent color that shows throughout the experience um, your organization provides supporters on your page. Uh, it's really easy to set. Just click the button that says edit theme um, and it'll open up that section for editing. Um, and uh, you can, you know, from this uh, edit theme, um, icon that you see here on the visual. Um, you can apply an overlay to your background image. Um, you can pick a color from the color box provided or you can use a hex code to get the exact color you want um, for your theme. Uh, and then as you can see here, once you change the color, it changes that donate button color, it changes the progress bar color, um, and then that'll carry through um, everything that's associated with your organization once you set that theme. So telling your story, um, the about section of your page is your chance to explain what your nonprofit is all about. Uh, the text editor is right in the section, so all you have to do is just click into the section and start writing. Um, you can add media to your story to jazz things up, um, utilize the inline text editor to add links, you can upload images, um, you can link out to videos from YouTube and Vimeo. Uh, they'll get embedded in your story so people visiting your profile can just click, click on them right from within that section. They don't have to go anywhere, it doesn't bring them out to anything, they'll be able to view it right on your page. Um, you can also add bulleted or numbered lists. Uh, and then this about section is the spot where you can really go in depth about your work um, and make that strong appeal to donors. Uh, tell them why your organization needs their support um, and show the impact of your work. Uh, and then one really cool piece about um, this section is the ability to add custom tabs. 
Uh, if you have extra info that you want to share uh, that doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, you can create a custom tab to add that information um, to your nonprofit page while keeping everything organized and really easy to find. Uh, you can add anything you'd like to your custom tab, um, you know, information about upcoming events, frequently asked questions, information about your staff, acknowledgements, resources, et cetera. Um, you can create up to three custom tabs that you can label um, however you'd like and fill with whatever content you want um, to make your profile page more awesome. So the media gallery um, on your organization's profile is where you'll be able to add any additional images you have um, of your organization. It's a really great way to visually show donors what your organization does and where funds are going. Um, you can also connect your organization's Instagram account, which imports the pictures that you already have there. Uh, connecting your Facebook or Instagram accounts not only provides additional content, but it also lets people coming to your page know that you have those social accounts so they can easily follow or like you. Um, you can optimize your social share settings within the settings section on your Mighty Cause Manager. Um, basically what that means is you can standardize the social template whenever somebody shares your campaign. Um, you can set the standard logo, uh, you can set the standard text and even hashtags that populate whenever a supporter spreads the word about your organization. So the last submenu item within your profile section is the page settings. This is where you can go to update the metrics that show on your page publicly. Uh, things like showcasing dollars raised, a progress bar if you've inputted a goal, and um, a donor count. You can also update the calculation period. So if you have fundraised on Mighty Cause before, uh, this part, this section allows you to sort of reset your page. So donations from a certain date are the only ones that will show on your organization profile page. Um, the page setting section is also where you'll find code for a widget that you can put on your website if you didn't want donors moving away from your site to donate. Um, you'll definitely want to spend some time customizing this profile using everything we just talked about because the more work you put into it, chances are the better you'll do during Give Local NRV. Um, basically, you could you can have the best campaign strategy in the world, but when your profile, the, the page where people are actually making donations, looks like you haven't shown it any love, then you may end up losing donors. So if you're excited about it, then chances are they'll be excited about it. Um, so uh, the next section on your Mighty Cause Manager is reports. Um, you can access reports on donations and disbursements in this report section of your Mighty Cause Manager. Um, clicking on that section will give you a sub menu where you can choose from your all donations report. Um, you can pick a report on recurring donations, um, any recurring donations your organization has. Um, and then it also gives you the option to, to choose a donor retention report, which will be really handy for next year. Um, you can also find disbursements and offline donations reports here as well. Uh, your donation report um, is available to you in real time and includes information like the donor name, email, um, any designations or dedication options you have, uh, the gross and net amount of their donation, as well as fees associated with their donation. Um, you'll also know what page they donated to, as well as lots of other information. Um, within the donor experience section, which we're, we'll go um, into detail about later on, uh, you can set what information you collect during the checkout process to show in your donation report. For example, if you needed to collect phone numbers or addresses from phone numbers, you can do so within the donor experience section so it shows on your donation report. Uh, the disbursements section of your report center allows you to see your batch disbursement history. Um, you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, like uh, which donations were included in that report, as well as a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, and net amount included in that disbursement. Um, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cause Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Uh, your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer, which is the recommended method since it allows, to fund, it allows fund disbursement twice monthly. Um, as I mentioned before, we, we can also send disbursements via check. 
Um, check disbursements, though, get sent out just once a month, and there is that $5 administrative fee. Um, so I highly recommend signing up for electronic fund transfer since it's free and you get your money faster. So the analytics submenu item in your report section shows you lots of great stats on donations made to your organization through Mighty Cause. Um, I would definitely check this section out a few times um, during you know, Giving Tuesday or during the Give Local NRV um, event on June 24th so that you have a well-rounded view of where your donations are coming from. Um, if you know most people are giving in the $25 to $50 range, maybe you want to think about adjusting your suggested donation amounts that people see when they go to your page to donate. So the analytics page um, could be really helpful in telling you kind of uh, more information about what's going on with your donors, the amounts they give, etc. So I would definitely um, recommend checking it out and, and seeing what information is offered and then thinking about how you can utilize the information to the best of your ability. So um, the next item on your Mighty Cause Manager bar is the fundraiser section. Um, there are several submenu options to choose from here, and um, we'll just hit on a few of them. Um, the first that I want to touch on is the donor experience section. Um, this is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's profile page. The donor experience section um, gives you a lot of control over the donation process for your organization on Mighty Cause. Um, it allows you to opt into collecting the information you want from donors, like addresses and phone numbers. You can also set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to help tie those amounts to items or services your nonprofit provides, um, which basically strengthens your appeal to donate. Um, Donor experience also allows you to preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation so you can see what your final process looks like and use that to edit yourself if needed. Uh, the donor experience section is also where you'll go to set up your thank you page and customize your donation receipt, both of which use the same text editor as your story on your profile. So you can add text, links, a video or image, and you can also add a custom call to action button that tells donors where you'd like to go them next, um, or where you'd like them to go next. Um, so a cool idea uh, would be, for instance, um, asking them to sign up for your email list right on that um, thank you page, uh, or you know you can you know have them sign up for an event or um, you know whatever you want. So it's it's super customizable. It's definitely a very important piece of your customization that you're doing when you're setting up your profile. Um, and you can preview everything, like I mentioned before, so that you know what your donors are experiencing and can control that process. Um, there's, there's really a lot that you can do within this donor experience tool um, to help optimize your campaign and um, customize that checkout process for your donors. Okay, so uh, also within the fundraising section um, is where you'll find the matching grants tool. Um, as I'm sure many of you know, having a matching grant from a donor can go a long way in driving donations. So I wanna make sure you're aware of the tool Mighty Cause has specifically for that. The matching grants tool is a versatile tool and you have a lot of options for how you structure your match. Um, while a lot of matches are one-to-one -one matching, um, where you know if someone gives you that amount the exact amount is matched um, on the mighty cause tool um, for matching grants you can also do two to one three to one or match a percentage of each donation um, our matching grant tool does all the math for you um, so all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match um, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received uh, so for instance um, if there is uh, a prize where um, you have to you know, reach the most individual donations, um, then you could say that if you get 100 donations within an hour, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your nonprofit or whatever the prize might be, um, you know, or however you wanna structure your match. So it's really a good tool to help you be strategic in terms of engaging the supporters more um, and you know, utilizing those prizes that the community foundation is going to be offer, offering. Um, also on the tool, you can add um, a logo um, 
to the um, to the to the tool so that um, you know if anyone is um, populating the or I'm sorry sponsoring the the match for you then you know let's say you have a um, person in the community or a business you can add their logo to the matching grant tool as well. So um, while that might sound like a lot, the tool itself is really user friendly and you have a lot of flexibility on how you structure your match. Um, so I would highly suggest checking out the matching grants tool now just to see your possibilities and start brainstorming. Um, and then of course, if you get overwhelmed um, or just aren't really sure, setting up um, your match as a one-to-one -one match is the simplest and easiest thing to do. Okay, so the um, last section on your admin bar is the settings. Um, if you click settings, it opens a sub menu where you can update your organization settings, uh, which means you can customize your organization's URL. This is where you can manage your electronic fund transfer so you get all the money you raise during the campaign. Um, it's also where you can update your legal information if needed and um, you can customize your social sharing here as well um, so that uh, everyone who goes to share your campaign on social media gets that template that you create for them um, to start from. Um, that way you know they don't have to write like come up with something, you're you're helping them get started. Um, the settings section is also where you can add or remove admins from your account as well. So um, moving on from the admin bar in your Mighty Cause account, um, I want to make sure um, I mentioned the really great tools you can use as you get ready for uh, Give Local NRV um, as well as Giving Tuesday. Um, and those are in the nonprofit toolkit. Uh, the toolkit has tips and tricks um, and an FAQ, it has walkthroughs, and it also has templates you can use for email and social media to help you get inspired um, and figure out how to promote your campaign. Uh, the toolkit is also where you'll be able to find today's training recording, as well as logos and graphics that you can download to start tying your brand into the Give Local NRV brand. Um, so definitely check out the toolkit if you haven't already uh, and refer back to it as you're planning your campaign. Okay, so using your Give Local NRV site for Giving Tuesday. So um, Giving Tuesday is a really great way um, to take advantage of using your Give Local NRV site now, but um, you, you really have got to plan ahead to make the most of it. Um, so to help you out, uh, you can start using those free planning resources that um, we just kind of touched on in the nonprofit toolkit. Um, there's no real need to reinvent the wheel or start from scratch. So you can get started by checking out, um, there's a planning guide in there, there's a checklist for success, um, and a bunch of other resources as well. Um, these are free and they're aimed at small organizations with limited resources. So definitely check them out um, as you're gearing up for Giving Tuesday. Um, I also recommend assigning some key roles for the day. Um, or for planning activities, um, give those out to specific members of your team or you know volunteers. So each person knows what they should be doing to prepare um, and what they should be doing on Giving Tuesday. Uh, okay, so first um, you wanna start off planning your campaign's message and theme um, to help create a focus uh, for Giving Tuesday for your organization. Um, you could just fundraise generally, but um, what we know on Mighty Cause is that it's important to have that focus, uh, even if you're just using your nonprofit profile to fundraise. Um, so think of a, think of a message, um, a theme, something that makes your campaign feel urgent and relevant and compelling to donors. Um, what this could look like in practice is, you know, raising money for a special fund at your nonprofit, uh, a special project, um, improvements to your equipment or premises, um, or even just finding a tagline and theme. Um, like for instance, an animal rescue might wanna focus on their foster program, or a food bank might focus um, on fundraising for meals for the holidays. Um, you also wanna set a goal for your efforts on Giving Tuesday. 
Um, you know, are you trying to raise a certain amount of money? Are you trying to reach a certain number of new donors or retain a certain number of current donors? Um, you really want to sit, sit down with um, whoever is helping with your Giving Tuesday planning um, or, you know, sit down with yourself if it's just you and uh, really think through what you want to try and accomplish on Giving Tuesday. Um, make sure your goal is specific and make sure it's measurable. Um, you don't want to just say, I want to raise more money. How much money do you want to raise? Um, and then, you know, what are your goals during the day for how much you raise? Um, do you have a specific number of people you want to reach out to? Um, so just make sure that those goals are specific and then make sure that you, you know um, what actions you're taking to try and measure them so you know if you've hit them or not. Uh, and then Giving Tuesday is uh, also a great opportunity to leverage any partnerships you have. Um, this can include businesses, companies, um, really anyone who can help boost your campaign. Um, if you have somebody in uh, your you know, community who is someone um, like a mayor or a news broadcaster, like they have a little bit more um, following, then try and partner with them during Giving Tuesday um, and you know, get them to tweet out your message or share your um, social post to try and get more traction um, for your organization that day. Um, so, and you know, you want to think about natural partnerships. Um, for instance, a, a pet food store might be a great partner for an animal rescue um, and a small local restaurant that focuses on farm to table food might be a great partner for a hunger relief organization. Um, you know, so partnering with uh, people who are prominent in your community or with businesses that you have relationships with, um, you know, getting them to uh, sponsor a match or um, even just promote your match. Um, that is a really great way to take advantage of Giving Tuesday and not only give you exposure, but then give them exposure well, um, as well. And uh, again, with the matching grant tool, if you do have a business um, that's sponsoring the match, then you can upload their logo, you can include it in any of your communications that you send out on Giving Tuesday. So they're kind of getting a little love back as well. Um, and it's more of a mutual partnership um, for that, that matching grant and on Giving Tuesday. Uh, and then, of course, um, you'll want to plan out your content. Um, the first step there is, you know, gather what you already have, photos, videos, et cetera, um, and then evaluate from that what you might need. Um, and then, you know, from there, you'll want to move into planning how you'll use that content, uh, specifically in your emails um, and on your social media channels. Uh, so for email, you'll really want to think about who you will contact and at what time. Um, we, we strongly recommend segmenting your email list. Uh, if you have a little bit of information um, on each, each um, donor or you know, a, a specific group of donors, um, that's going to change how you might talk to them. So you're obviously going to talk to your major donors differently than you are going to be talking about those people that give $10 once a year. Um, so, you know, think about the different segments that you have, come up with an email plan that communicates uh, to each of them. Um, you don't want to send out generic message to everyone asking them to give. If, you, if you're able to, um, you know, put ideas in, um, you know, your middle, like people who give um, medium-sized donations, let's say $50, like you could ask those people, hey, can you give $20 more this year for our Giving Tuesday campaign? Um, so you're speaking to them specifically as opposed, as opposed to just emailing out a generic blast that, uh, you know, just says, please give. Um, having a specific message for specific segments um, usually gets you a better uh, rate of return on those emails. Uh, and then, of course, um, you know, social media is the main place that where you'll probably share um, Giving Tuesday content and stories uh, since Giving Tuesday is a day that's really built for social media. So think about what platforms you're going to use, um, how you're going to engage your donors, and definitely um, utilize that social media guide in the nonprofit toolkit. There's lots of really great tips and resources in there, um, especially if you don't feel like your organization is super social media savvy. Um, this will be a great place to start so you can kind of get that planning under your belt as you prepare for Giving Tuesday. Um, and then another thing that you'll want to do to help plan your communications is um, Try and get as much done 
uh, now as you can. Uh, that way you're not scrambling on the actual day. So if you're able to schedule anything, if you have any social media, um, you know, scheduling tools, um, the, like Hootsuite or TweetDeck or, you know, whatever you use, uh, then get as much as you can pre-scheduled and then leave just uh, the, the same day stuff uh, for the actual, you know, for actually Giving Tuesday. So for instance, same day stuff would include, you know, if you wanted to do thank you shout outs to donors, um, or, you know, if you have a matching grant that you've secured and it, it gets matched that day, then you'll want to let everyone know because it's very exciting. If you hit your goal, that kind of stuff would all be same day um, communications that, that you wouldn't schedule, but you'd still kind of think about how you want to um, format. Uh, and then lastly, you know, don't forget to plan um, your follow up and thank yous to everyone that helps make your campaign a success. So, you know, give shout outs during the day to donors of all sizes, um, send thank you emails. Um, you can start prepping handwritten notes now to send out after Giving Tuesday's over. Um, one way uh, to make it easy for yourself is to customize that thank you page we were talking about, um, the thank you page and the email in the donor experience section. Uh, that way, you know, you can always send out additional or more personal thank yous, but at least by customizing the thank you section, um, you know your donors are getting a note from you right after they donate. Um, the the follow-up is on Giving Tuesday is super important too, because not only is Giving Tuesday December 3rd, but then you're also looking at end of the year giving. So if you're planning on doing anything for end of year, make sure that you're really thanking people who give on Giving Tuesday because they're kind of going above and beyond maybe what they normally give. So make sure that they know you're aware of their generosity um, and just thank them, thank them, thank them. Um, that way they feel good about donating to your organization again uh, later in the year. Um, you know, before December 31st. Um, so I also, um, you know, we're kind of wrapping things up here, but I want to make sure I get our support team's contact information out there for you. Um, we, uh, you know, the support team, me included, um, we're a great resource before um, and during uh, Giving Tuesday as it leads up to um, Give Local NRV. Um, so we're here for you. We're here to help you. Um, you know, if you need help setting up your electronic fund transfer, if you need some help figuring out how um, to strategize around the weekly um, or strategize around any prizes, um, or if your donor needs a receipt reset, um, you can reach out to us anytime. Um, and I would um, write down um, the phone number. We are a small team, um, so we don't have our phone number super prominent on the website. So if you're somebody and you know that um, I really need phone support, I just know um, that I'm going to want to call people, like that's fine. We're happy to talk on the phone, but there's not a lot of us, so um, make sure you write that phone number down so you have it handy. Uh, and then, of course, we're um, we're very active uh, on our email, support at mightycause.com. So um, if you need help um, at all, then feel free to email in to us, and we will be more than happy to help you. Uh, okay, yeah, so before we jump into any questions, though, um, Claire, do you have any um, parting words for us? Um, or we can wait till after questions. I'm um, not sure if you had anything to add right now. No, I, I think happy to dive into questions. Okay, great. Uh, let me see what we've got. Okay, we have a good amount of questions. Let's see. Um, do we need to register again if we have been registered in past years? Um, so since this is the first year on Mighty Cause, um, yes, you will need to register again. Um, if you have any additional questions about that, let me know. But it's super easy to register. Just claim your account on Mighty Cause, um, select your organization within that registration form to unlock the registration questions, um, and then you'll be able to get started. Uh, let's see. I heard before that June 1st through 23rd donations don't count for prizes and incentives. Is this not true? Um, Claire, I'm going to let you take that one. Donations count starting June 1st. So prize eligibility for donations would count starting June 1st through the 24th. 
So just to clarify, prize we'll have different kinds of prizes defined, but donations count and count towards prizes starting on June 1st. Hopefully that makes sense. Great. And we'll, um, I mean, that's a good just clarifying point. So we'll make sure once the prizes are announced, we'll make sure it's very clear on the website that any donations, um, like donations starting June 1st, will will count towards those prizes that the Community Foundation is offering. Let's see. Um, is there a way to remove the Mighty Cause logo on the background image? Um, if you um, upload a new background image, then um, that'll be there. I'm, I'm not sure. The Mighty Cause logo, I don't think is on the Give Local NRV site. So we'll want to make sure that you're on the correct page. Um, so I will, Tiffany, I'll email you um, after the webinar just to make sure that you're on the correct page because it should have the Give Local NRV logo um, on your on your page. But um, I'll email you so we can clarify um, and that way we'll get your question answered. Um, okay, are we able to customize our organization name? Um, we use a DBA, yes. So um, if you go to your profile section and um, uh, when you click on that, it'll open up those pencil icons. And if you click on the pencil icon next to your organization's name on your profile page, then you can edit what the display name is. Um, you'll see if you go to um, the settings uh, icon, on your Mighty Cause Manager and then go to um, organization settings and scroll down, you'll see what information we have on file for you. Um, and that's what will appear on um, your receipt as, as well as your DBA. Um, so your receipt's gonna include your display name and your legal name. Um, if you do need to change your legal name, um, then just click edit legal information uh, within your um, the organization settings so you can edit that. But um, it sounds like all you want to do is edit the display name um, to your DBA. And all you need to do to do that is just click on that pencil icon and make that change. Um, if you need to customize your URL to match your DBA, then you can do that as well. And the URL customization um, is within the organization settings section um, of your site. So you can change your display name and the URL um, display to match uh, whatever your DBA is. Mm -hmm. um, can I add custom questions to my page? So um, you can add the any custom questions that are already there. Um, we don't have like true the ability to add like specific custom questions, but if you needed to make like designations or dedications, that part's customizable as well. Um, but I, I'm happy to reach out to you, um, Leona, to uh, kind of clarify further and get more information about what you're looking to add. Um, Cause you know, in case we already have it and um, you know, we're, you're not just, you're not seeing it, um, but I will, I'll reach out to you uh, to kind of get clarification on that. Um, if anyone has any other questions, um, then like feel free to, enter them in in the um the questions box but those were that was it for the um questions that i had um we can probably wait a minute uh to see if any more come in but um that's all that i had so claire do you have anything else to add um and then of course if anyone does have any questions um that they think of after the webinar then um you're you're welcome to email me my email is dawn D-A-W-N at MightyCause.com, um, or you can email our support team, um, support at MightyCause.com, and, you know, either place will get your question answered. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think this did a great job of covering everything folks would need to know to get up and running. So we're, we're here if there are more questions before we wrap up, and of course the Community Foundation team is also here if folks have questions at any point afterwards. Uh, I did have one more question come in. Um, is there a recommended or traditional video link for a YouTube or Vimeo link? Um, so technically, no. 
there's no like traditional video length, but it is recommended to keep your videos about two minutes or less. Um, that way, you know, and it basically it's people's attention span. Um, if, you know, people are used to getting their information like just in super shortened formats these days. So uh, a two minute long video is about as much as people can handle. Um, and if you're able to really kind of, you know, introduce the meat of what you're trying to say within the first 15 seconds to make sure you hook them to keep them the full two minutes, then that is that is probably most recommended. Um, but for sure, I would keep your videos at two minutes or less. Um, that way, uh, there's a higher chance of people actually sitting through the whole thing. That was a good question. Um, and there is more information about uh, videos um, in the social media guide as well. Just a, a few more like tips and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, it looks like that's it. Um, oh, one more. You guys are good. Um, let's see. <laughs> Do you know which has lower fees, giving through Mighty Cause link or Facebook button? So, I mean, Facebook's going to have lower fees, um, but it's not going to have any tools, which is why it has lower fees. So it, it's really up to you. Um, if you want to use Facebook, uh, that's fine. But you. Um, from what I understand, there's no reporting, so um, you wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, see who donated before um, and then reach out to them again. Um, there's less support, uh, and you don't get uh, any real tools uh, like peer-to-peer -to -peer fundraising, etc. Um, so, it, I mean, and if I could just add in, that of course would not count for Give Local NRV. So only organizations that are registered on the platform will be eligible to participate in Give Local NRV. That's an important distinction, I think. So organizations are of course welcome to use any other platform they want for, for their fundraising purposes. But for the purposes of the giving day that's sponsored by the Community Foundation, Give Local NRV is the platform that that we are using and that you have to be registered on to be eligible for incentive prizes and to participate. And if you're asking about, I'm assuming that they're asking about um, Giving Tuesday. Uh, so you're, yeah, you're totally welcome to use Facebook for Giving Tuesday, but just, um, you know, you get what you pay for. And if you don't pay for anything on Facebook, you're not really going to get a whole lot, which is fine. Um, if that's what you want, that's totally fine. Um, but like Claire mentioned, for Give Local NRV specifically, um, it's, it's, it is on Mighty Cause. It's not going to be associated with Facebook at all. Um, that was a good question too. Um, can we view any samples of other sites? Um, yeah, so if you um, do the search on Give Local NRV, there's a like magnifying glass up in the upper left uh, or upper right um, next to the, um, the profile login. Uh, if you click on that uh, magnifying glass, then it brings you to the search and it'll bring up any um, pages associated with Give Local NRV, and then you can kind of click through and see others' pages um, as they've set them up. Um, and then if you want uh, a bigger um, kind of view uh, or more organizations to pages to look at, you can just go to mightycause.com and click on the magnifying glass there, and that will um, you know open up the search for every organization on mighty cost specifically and so you can kind of you can filter by organization and then you can click on different organization pages to see what they've done to their pages um to kind of give you ideas these are good questions um i don't have any coming in right now but um there has been a lot of um questions coming in. So uh, I just want to reiterate that, um, again, like you're welcome to use uh, your Mighty Cause Give Local NRV page for Giving Tuesday um, or, uh, you know, anything else that you want to fundraise for it is um, we are a year round fundraising platform. Um, and you do get, um, as we dug in um, and went through during the webinar, you get a ton of 
um, tools and um, different resources for your organization that are free to you. Um, so I, you know, I would recommend even just digging through the resources because really all we're here for is um, to help you guys succeed. So whatever route you, you know, you need to take to succeed and raise money for your organization, that's awesome. And, and definitely please go do it. Um, if you, you know, I would definitely, um, you know, access those reports and all of the information that you get with your Mighty Cause account, because um, that's just going to help you help set you up um, for success in the future. If you have, um, you know, donor reports where you can reach out to them every year um, in that, especially that donor retention report, um, once you use that for either, um, you know, if you use it for Giving Tuesday, that's awesome. It'll, it'll, collect information if you use the Mighty Cause page for Giving Tuesday, and then you'll already have that list for when you start to send out um, messages for Giving Tuesday. And then you could segment those donors specifically and say, hey, you gave to us toward Giving Tuesday, help us with our next Giving Day um, on you know, June 24th. And that way, you know, you already have a list that is ready to go, ready, already segmented that you can reach out to um, specifically for Give Local NRV. Um, but there's just there's a lot of tools that come with your account um, that you can access and take advantage of. Um, but even if you don't use the Mighty Cause account for Giving Tuesday, um, totally fine. You're still welcome to use all of the resources because, again, um, you guys are doing awesome work in the New River Valley and, and we just want you to succeed. So um, the um, the community foundation is, uh, you know, really trying to think ahead and provide you an opportunity and space for um, your fundraising for Giving Tuesday, but totally up to you um, for how you want to utilize that. Um, but again, like Claire mentioned, uh, if, if uh, to count towards any prizes for Give Local NRV specifically, um, you'll definitely want to use the, the Mighty Cause platform. Um, we do. One thing I, I think I didn't um, mention or I should loop back on is that we do have an early bird incentive drawing prize for organizations that have registered for Give Local NRV and completed the five steps on that to-do list by Giving Tuesday. So as, as Don mentioned, you don't have to participate in Giving Tuesday if, if you don't want to, but if you have completed your profile to-do list and registered for Give Local by Giving Tuesday, your organization will be entered into an incentive prize drawing for $500 that we're doing as an early bird incentive to get folks up and running on the platform well in advance of Giving Day. That's awesome. Um, great. Well, I don't see any other questions coming in. Um, so I'm, um, if, of course, again, if anyone has any questions um, that they think of later, uh, you can email support at mightycause.com. Um, but yeah, that's all I had. I really appreciate your guys' time today. Hopefully, um, you know, you got all the information you needed to get yourself um, up and running. Uh, and we're really looking forward to uh, Give Local NRV. And we're so happy that we've been able to partner with the Community Foundation of New River Valley. So thanks, Claire. Appreciate your time, too. Um, and if thanks. you don't have anything else to add, then I'll, uh, I'll sign us off. All set. Thanks a lot. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, everyone.